Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Call of the Wild Angler. And in this video I'm going to share a little bit more info. Uh, this is by the way info that I didn't have in the first video, otherwise I put it in the first video. Uh, so it's not only the South Africa reserve that we are going to get, but we are going to get a new patch too. So we are going to get patch 1.6.0. Uh, there is some uh, more... Uh, info about the species so let's have a look what they write here so fish for 16 fish species so we are going to get 16 in the south african uh, reserve including 13 all new discoveries like the african sharp tooth catfish the african motlet eel and the spotted bass we got the tiger fish then two and the other one uh Talapia, I think it's called. I can show you guys that too. So at the end of the video, we will have a look in Fishing Planet. And then we st still need to guess, I think, eight of them. So we already know five new one. Uh, so still eight to go. So that's uh, really good. 16 fish pieces. And once again, an eel. People like eel. The sharp tooth catfish is not a really big one. But it's a decent one. So... It's possible that uh, it's going to be around 20 kilograms, I think. Uh, so it's it's not a really small one like the channel catfish. It's a little bit bigger what I saw in Fishing Planet. But that's good. Then the next one. Master new missions. Complete mission and hone your skills at the newly introduced fishing hubs. Exclusive to South Africa. Fishing hubs present a new way to improve your fishing techniques. Uh, visit each hub, tackle their individual missions and earn exclusive rewards inspired by the reserve itself. So I don't know what this is going to be after reading this. So you got fishing hubs. So uh, what it's going to be, you got a hub on a position. And if you go to that position, you can do a mission. So it's a little bit like in Spain that you need to go to a dock, click on the board. Something like that. But I'm not really sure. A new way to improve, improve your fishing techniques. That's something strange. Because how can you improve your fishing techniques by doing a mission? Uh, I don't understand that. Because yeah, in this game you just got the bottom set up. You throw it in the water. The bobber is just the same. So there is not really anything that you can learn. Everything is automatically... So not sure what, what this means. Are we going to get other fishing techniques as possible too? And maybe you need to do them in the in the hubs to learn them. That's a possibility, but we will see. And this one is very big too. Uh, so I expect a shitload of players coming to the game. Uh, so invite a friend. What does that mean? Fishing is more fun with friends when you purchase South Africa. Not only... Can you invite a friend with his own uh, friend who owns the base game to join you for free? But this offer also extends to our other reserves too. So I'm not sure why they do that. Uh, so... Yeah, indeed. So the people already need to have the base game. So I don't know... Why they want to do that? Because I think for business it's not so good to be honest. So if I got the base game and my friend got the base game and I buy the African, South African reserve, I can invite him and he can play it for free. And I can do that on every, every area because they say that. But this offer also extends to our other reserves too. So I'm not sure uh, why this is good. Uh, because, yeah, they are going to lose money, I think. So, and what is going to happen? So, if you invite him one time, can he stay then the entire time over there? Or is it just one friend? And if you yeah, invite another friend, he cannot access it anymore. And now they are going to do it. Because I already see a million things what is going to happen here. Uh, so, a lot of people are going to invite a friend, uh, they are going to get the gear, they are going to get the reputation, they buy everything and they are done. And they never paid one dime. Uh, so, I hope that somewhere they yeah, protect a little bit this, because otherwise they are going to lose a lot of money, I think. Because I know now already 
that a lot of people are going to invite the French just to save the money that they don't need to pay the African pack. So it's strange. Uh, yeah, it's very strange for me. I, I, I would think that maybe you can just invite a friend that don't have the base game and you just give him limited access to an area for like one, two hours. That's something that I can understand, but they are not saying that at the moment. So it's possibly just like that. You invite him, he can stay two, three hours and then he just goes out and he never can get back in. That's maybe what they're going to do. That's maybe, yeah. Discover South Africa, experience the breathtaking natural beauty of South Africa as you discover stunning landmarks. Uh, okay, that's all good. Also coming on March 26 is the update and there are a couple of things that are very good. So vehicle storage is here, finally. This is a big one. Vehicle will act as your portable storage. Avoid unnecessary trips back to the shop and swap out your gear on the go for from either your boat or uh, the jeep so that's good so you got now your storage always with you this is very irritating what we had in the past so sometimes you were fishing you think by yourself fuck i need to have that you need to go back to to the main hub you need to come back sometimes you need to take the boat i think that's very good so now you can just get your storage in your boat and your jeep then the next one customization ui overhaul that's already they told that so it's uh, for the cosmetics that you got like uh, an easier menu for the cosmetics and this is something uh, that they are going to introduce to i don't understand this really well fast travel to vehicles you'll be able to fast travel to any of your spawned vehicles within a reserve whenever you choose getting around has never been easier uh, I don't, yeah, I can understand it. Yeah, I can understand it. So, maybe to pick up, because you don't need to go back for your storage. So, but maybe to pick up a mission or something, that's a possibility. Uh, because otherwise, I don't know why this is going to be handy, to be honest. Because if you got your vehicle and you're somewhere out, yeah, it's possible indeed, I can understand it. If you go uh, with the vehicle to a position, you start running around, you fish, you want to go back to your vehicle and go to the other side, okay. I can understand it, why they want to do that. But not anymore for the storage, because in the past, uh, yeah, you go back to your uh, village, to the storage, and then you can go back to the vehicle. But I think they did it for that, that you don't need to go to a trailhead get the, the the vehicle again and go back okay that's good so community events and activities fish or dare we teamed up with our friends at dare drop once again to create an exciting campaign filled with activities more information about when this dare drop event kicks off will be revealed soon then the stream join jaxi's stream wednesday at 6 p.m that's uh, Central Europe time for the Tackle Box live stream. We might even take you on a short trip to South Africa. The last time, uh, the last time he showed all the species. So if you want to know all the species, he's probably going to do it tomorrow too. They are not saying that it's tomorrow, but my guess is tomorrow it's Wednesday. So it will be probably tomorrow wednesday so be sure that you watch it guys i will watch it too i will make a video about it with all the species and uh, that's it guys so a lot of more information and before i go i almost forgot so let's have a look to the species so this is a spotted bass by the way for the people that never saw spotted bass it looks a little bit similar to the large mount bass uh, but it's smaller and not as yellow. It's a little bit more dark. So we are going to get this one. So a little bit more dark at the top here. And then the other fish that uh, we already know. Uh, so uh, let's go back to the globe, to the Congo. So this is the, the Nile tilapia. That's the one I think that we had in the... In the announcement trailer, that's one. Then we got the sharp tooth, African sharp tooth catfish. That's this one. So here you can see it. African, that's one that we are going to get to. And then the tiger fish. I think this one, the African tiger fish is coming too. That's five. I'm not sure. 
how big they become here. Are they saying it? So they can go to 60 kilogram. They say it. Either. But I'm not sure that they are going to implement that in Call of the Wild. Uh, because 60 kilogram, that means this is going to be the biggest fish in the game. It's possible, of course. But they always said that they cannot introduce big fish like this. But you can read it here. With its weight measuring up to 60 kilogram, this one. So, maybe we are going to get a bigger fish. I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. Have fun. Bye-bye.